the winner of South African Idols Season 7 is Twenty-one-year-old Dave Van Furen is the new South African Idol. In what was a hotly contested showdown at the Mosaic Teatro, the Johannesburg resident beat out his Cape Townian counterpart, Mark Hayes, to be crowned as the winner of this, the seventh season of the hit show. I can understand. Dave, can you explain how you're feeling right now? I love you, South Africa! You have made my dreams come true! Shortly after performing his debut single, Hall of Mirrors, at the live finale, Van Furen told members of the media the announcement still hadn't sunk in. I don't feel like I'm even on this planet at the moment. It feels like everything I've ever dreamed of. I mean, I mean, how would anyone else feel if everything they've ever dreamed of in life has come true? So I feel, I feel unbelievable and I just want to say thank you to every single person who voted for me and every single person who's, who's been supporting me. This is really, really the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Thank you. He says despite not winning the title, he was thrilled for his friend. You know, I, I feel very good. I'm very proud of my friend. You know, he, we, we've been doing this for so long. You kind of, you forget that it's a competition. I know you guys know it's a competition and all the voters know it's a competition. But when, you know, we're, in, we're in the house. We're working every single day. We're working on songs. We're not thinking of how we can oust each other. So um, when they announced his name, I was, I th think I was equally as happy as if, well, probably not equally, I'm, let's be realistic, if it was me, I would have been like, whoa. But uh, <laughs> I'm very happy for my friend, he's, he's done it, he's worked really hard to get here, so, man, love you, dude. I love you too. <laughs> He also said the two, together with fellow contestant Freddie Fandango, have discussed working on tracks together and that this is definitely something to look forward to. I said to them, look, it would be cool if each of us could do a song on each of each other's albums at some point. Obviously, if it doesn't, you know, if it's not, if it's not available at this point in time, that's, that's fine. But at some point in our lives, we would like to do that. Van Furen has stated on several occasions that he wants to sing his own songs on his record. Universal Music's Benji Moody says this is something the label will be encouraging when they head into the studio. He will have scope to do his own material on there, and it's almost the same as Elvis Blue was last year, where we find a balance between um, the artist songs and the songs that we bring as A&R people. And it is a two-way street. We're very artist-orientated. We're not prescriptive in that way. Thank you to everyone. There's been some amazing people that I've met. And, whew, I can't wait to just show you guys music from the soul. I can't wait. Thank you. Be sure to visit omusic.com to get your hands on their new singles and stay tuned to dstv.com for so much more on Dave and Mark's debut albums.